Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today, I've got a shulker box unloader for you. We're going to talk about some of the mechanics we're going to use. We're also going to talk about how to make this better so it's a little more automated and some caveats when using this design. Let's get started. To get started, we're going to talk about a mechanic we're going to be using a couple times in this build, and that is hoppers and comparators. When a hopper is empty, as you can see here, there's nothing in here at all. The comparator is not lit up. It means it's not detecting anything. But as soon as you have one item in here, anything at all, the comparator lights up. So we're going to use this a couple times in this process. OK, so if you imagine a shulker box is on top of this as it's unloading, items are passing through this hopper. So that comparator would be on. But then when the shulker box is empty, this would empty out. This would turn off. That would tell us that the process is done. So we're going to be using this process in the build. Also, in the same way that we had the comparator directly against the hopper, you can have a block in between. You can see that the comparator is off. And then if we put any item in here, the comparator turns on. The signal is being passed through the block to the comparator as far as the detection, which goes out. So we can use this also in our build, and we will. We're going to use this configuration starting out where we have hopper, the block, and the comparator. And we're going to pass that into a block with a torch on top, OK, a redstone torch. Now you can see it's on. If we put an item into here, the comparator gets a signal. It's, it's powered and the torch then goes out. And that's what we want to see. And so now we're going to pass this signal up and around to a sticky piston with a slab that will do the actual breaking of the shulker box. OK, so on top of this right here, we're going to put a block and then we're going to have a dropper facing upwards. I found it's easier just to put a block temporarily and we'll put a dropper facing upwards and then you can delete that block and you can hear a little click. Then we're going to put a hopper on top. OK, and right there in this system here, like it doesn't matter which one, but put a an item of any choice. This item will be bouncing back and forth between these two. OK, so then you want to have a block here to the side and we're going to put a comparator on this. This is the other way that we were detecting a comparator. Remember, we use this one down here with a block in between this one. We're just right against it. And so when this dropper fires, the item will be pushed up into the hopper. This comparator will see it briefly, and then the hopper feeds that back down into the dropper, OK? And then what you want to do is you want to have a sticky piston. I'm going to put one temporary block right there. You want to have sticky piston facing downward like that, OK? And then you want to have a half slab right there, OK? So there you go. That's the system. So now if you imagine that there is a shulker box there, and we have some items going through. OK, so we have an item here. It can't go anywhere, actually, because we don't have anything hooked up yet. But you see the torch went out as soon as that item or this hopper gets empty, which means it's done. You can see that this went to break uh, the shulker box that would be there. So let's put the, let's make a shulker box here. I'm going to go into survival. And let's put a shulker box. Let's put like four items. OK, and I'm also going to put another uh, hopper here so we can just have the items fed over there. So it actually moves down through. OK, so I guess I need a pick, don't I? Uh, yeah. Let's do that really quick so I can actually break this in survival so you can see that it works. And I'm doing this because um, it just gives you a regular shulker box instead of a shulker box with items. OK, so here we go. If this shulker box would place right here, the items would go through. And then when it gets done, it breaks that up. And there it is. You can see the four items and the shulker box, which is now empty. This system works great for a single shulker box, but you really want to have this be automated so you can throw a bunch of shulker boxes in and it will just unload them and break them and put the next one down. So I have three shulker boxes here to simulate this. We have one with four oak logs, one with four cobblestone and one with four diamonds. OK, so we're going to build a system here which will uh, work with this. OK, so what you want to do here is I start out by putting a block right here and then putting a dispenser facing inward like right here and then a button on the back of that dispenser because we have to actually start the system up. This doesn't auto detect that it's ready to go. You have to start the first time and then it will run fine. Now that dispenser will be putting shulker boxes on to this spot. OK, so now we have to be able to get a signal to it. So I would like to put a block here and you want a repeater set to the maximum level of ticks just like that. You're going to put another block on this side next to the torch and you're going to put a powered rail. So this rail gets powered by this torch. So as you remember that this uh, comparator unpowers this torch, basically, this will be flipping back and forth based on the state of that torch. 
And then you want to have an observer watching that powered rail. You can see the two eyes are watching here and it's powering that signal. This will cause a, a signal for the dropper then to put in another uh, shulker box. And so that's it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put on top of this just so I can load it easy. If I was in my base or something, a hopper with a chest and there we go. Let me get rid of some items here and I'm going to go into survival. And I'm going to grab these three shulker boxes. Okay. And I'm going to just put them into this chest. Now, again, this does not start up right away. It waits for the first time. So, if, you know, when you load it, you might have a button that'll kick this off starting out and then it'll go on forever. So you can see we don't have any, any items in here. Uh, let me actually do something. Let me go back into creative really quick. I think I might not have enough space here. Let me put another hopper here. And I'll put a hopper here. So we'll just kind of like have some extra storage just in case it was moving out of this hopper. Okay, here we go. Let's press the button. First shulker gets there, gets unloaded, gets broken. Next shulker gets in, gets unloaded, gets broken. The third shulker gets unloaded and broken, and the system is done. And you can see here it unloaded four diamonds, had a shulker box, four oak logs, a shulker box, four cobblestone, and the last shulker box. So this system works fantastic. There is one caveat here though, and that is with an empty shulker box. So as you can see here, I have this system right here. Let's say you have, you've loaded it, but you happen to get an empty shulker box and you put it down here. It never knows to break the box because it doesn't actually see anything ever move through here, okay? So bear that in mind. You may not want to uh, put any empty shulker boxes into this system, but otherwise this thing works great as far as a shulker box unloader. That's it, everybody. I sure hope you like this video. If you do, click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.